Did you know that the dad from A Quiet Place actually survived? Yeah, it's crazy. He did. And he actually made a YouTube channel called Some Good News. And what he's doing there is that he's highlighting some really, really uplifting stories, which is more important than ever, especially in the time that we're in now. Honestly, my genuine opinion of it is that I just love it. There's no agenda, no hollow message, just some pure human stories that shed light in such a trying time. So I'm gonna be ripping off his channel, but with a twist. Here we're gonna highlight some really uplifting Asian stories because I think our community really needs it right now. If you think I'm a scumbag for ripping off this idea, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button down below. The dislike button is for the people who don't like my Bushman eyebrows and we don't really wanna confuse the two, so make sure you get that right. And on to our first story. Anyway, so our first story is one you've probably heard before, but is still pretty important regardless, so I still want to share it. Jack Ma, Chinese billionaire and former executive of the Alibaba Group, steps up to donate 1 million masks and 500,000 coronavirus testing cases to the United States. I know any news about China, even if it's good, is going to be a big yikes for a lot of people, but I just want to say 1 million masks and 500,000 test kits in a country that was lacking exactly those things, and also considering the fact that the doctors in Wuhan have the most experience with fighting the virus flew over to Italy, that should not be discounted either. They are literally flying from one death zone to another to help save lives. As far as I know, no news outlets reported that these donations came up with strings attached, so the countries receiving them have no obligation to this other than seeing it as a charitable act. The rest is up to us. Be vigilant to see if your government's arm is getting twisted over this in the future. But for now, I think this qualifies as good news. Next story. In Brentwood, Tennessee, there's a local nail salon that was forced to temporarily close down because they're doing their part to flatten that curve. They have taken the initiative to start sewing masks and PPE for their local healthcare providers. Courage, um, community, um, everybody can help. So if we can help, um, everybody can help. Good job, Zen Nails. I don't ever really get my nails done, but if I ever do, I will be sure to fly 2,000 miles over there just for you guys. <laughs> Next story. Spike Lee tells Donald Trump to wash his hands. Okay, that's not the real headline, um, but it could have happened. You never know. The real headline is Spike Lee tells Donald Trump not to call COVID-19 the Chinese virus. I just want to say this really quickly because it's a known thing that with each new disaster comes new levels of stupidity. That apart from the racist implications that come with it, if you're trying to justify calling it the Chinese virus by saying stuff like, oh, there's the Spanish flu or the German measles, Keep in mind, we're all in 2020 right now, and calling COVID-19 the Chinese virus goes against World Health Organization naming conventions. Links in the description. The people there are a lot smarter than the politicians that probably haven't taken a science class since the eighth grade. It's also really good to respect other people's authority on things when they have the science background to back it up. So if you wanna hide the fact that you're stupid for just a little bit longer, you can work out what you need to do. Anyway, Spike Lee, very cool. Wow. Next story. Our next story comes from the Sichuan Association for Hot Pot, which has gifted all the members of the Sichuan medical team with a card that'll allow them to go to 400 plus Sichuan hot pot locations for free for a year. Ugh, I guess I know why people chose to be doctors while I chose lousy engineering. But for real, good job in the Hubei comments, guys. We deserve all the hot pot. Next story. Our next story comes from Japan, one of the countries with the largest aging population in the world. Everyone over there is self-isolating as well, but these seniors are not going to let us young kids show them up. They got their exercise on lockdown. Seriously, it's a little embarrassing. I'm pretty sure they're going to have better summer bods than me. <laughs> but good on you, Japan. Not jealous at all. <laughs> next story. The Million Masks Project was a GoFundMe started by Ben Wei? Sorry. And eight others organizing a fundraiser to raise money for New York hospitals. As we all know, New York has been one of the cities hit the hardest with the most amount of coronavirus cases, and healthcare workers are super overwhelmed. Lack of PPE is just insane. Our doctors and nurses are the ones trying to save us. They need to have personal protective equipment to help us. They should not be going into the front lines without this equipment. Some of the things I've seen that doctors have had to do because of this shortage is insane. So thank you so, so much for your help 
than almost 10. At this time, your fundraiser has raised over $500,000. So that's an amazing job. And finally, our last story kind of hits a little close to home for me. Since the beginning of this pandemic, the outward hostility and racial aggression towards Asians has skyrocketed. Yo, 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 Officials pointing to this incident on a subway train. The language is abusive and at times racist. I hate Asians. Raise of hands. Is anyone still skeptical this is happening out there? In the beginning, when Asians were wearing masks as preventative care, people were immediately thinking that they had it and were attacked for that. But then as the pandemic got worse, everyone grabbed their own sets of masks and then Asians are even being beat up for not wearing masks. People are getting jumped, they're having their property damaged and getting spat on, all of this without previous provocation. Chinese, Koreans, Vietnamese, Japanese, Everyone's getting the brunt of it. Then the Donald comes out with the Chinese virus thing and it's just gotten worse and worse. But here we have a volunteer group called the SF Peace Collective. And the headline reads as US veterans volunteer to patrol SF Chinatown amid coronavirus racism. Max Leung formed a group of local volunteers committed to patrol the streets of Chinatown. Many of these guys are former veterans of the Navy, Army, and Marines, which means they have the physicality and the skills to de-escalate some really sticky situations. I just want to say thank you so much for doing this for your community. It really means a lot to us. It just seems so easy for people to attack Asians these days, and not just because of their age, physicality, or their tendency not to engage, especially when they are being the target of direct racism, but also because the media themselves have not put a big spotlight on us. And it really comes down to the deluded idea that the Asian minding his own business will have the coronavirus over the Karen that's been shaking her way through 10 managers demanding more toilet paper. Yeah, logic. So thank you so, so, so much to the SF Peace Collective. You guys are doing great work and really helping out your community. Thank you. All right, those are the stories, guys. Links to everything are gonna be in the description down below. There was definitely a lot more negative stories than positive stories, so it took a while to find all of that. But if you like this, please make sure to give the video a huge thumbs up. And if you want another video like this, please help me find some good stories to talk about. I really would love to highlight some more. I don't know how links in the comments work, but I also do have a Twitter and Instagram if you wanna to try to link me articles from there. That would be super helpful. Thank you.